Hey guys, me. I figured I'd uh, talk about yesterday. I took the family to their uh, local Renaissance festival, and it was a celebration of King Henry VIII and his uh, victories. It's kind of like the theme that they have this year. There was a jousting tournament and uh, a you know, the normal Renaissance stuff. But what I want to kind of touch on was there was a, let's say, an oddly dressed person. <laughs> now, normally I'm like, you know, Renaissance bring out like those weird kind of people. That was your heathen. <laughs> If you listen real close, you can hear her ping! <laughs> Don't do that to your child. That's alright, I'll edit that out. So, I was going around, I was looking for the ATM, because nothing says Henry VIII like an ATM. And I, I kind of got, I misplaced myself in their scheme of things, and I got, a, I got away from the group, and as I was trying to relocate them, I came upon a person in a full furry outfit. Now I I, I know the the furry phenomenon is 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 high is is deep rooted in internet lore, but I'd never really seen one in public, and it was very weird because at first I was like, oh okay, well. It's kind of fantasy based because it's a griffin, and he has rainbow wings. And but then I noticed the person with him was leading him on a leash, and she was dressed like regular old like Jane, like plain Jane jeans T-shirt. And I was like, these are the type of people. That make me want to stay inside. <laughs> okay, you want to you, you? Everybody's got their kinks and stuff, but keep it at home. This is a family event, and when you see someone walking around with a griffin on a leash, and you're not dressed up, it puts you out. But it makes the conversation of why is that person dressed up a little awkward. Now, I was lucky enough to not only kind of keep my distance from them, but we, me and my wife started discussing the the appropriateness of certain costumes. Now, when you go to a Ren Fair, you know, you normally have the Renaissance garb. But this year we saw a lot of pirates, which would have been okay if yeah. it was like a pirate theme thing, but we also saw a lot of steampunk stuff. Now I'm all I'm all for the steampunk genre, but however, the steampunk genre is is post uh, the Renaissance period. Steampunk normally is a Victorian type thing, so the the the, the normal undertone of the steampunk dress is completely different. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you're going to dress up at a Renaissance festival, at least try to get it a little closer to the time period. Or completely go all out and just show up in, like, Stormtrooper outfit. I'll just cut it out.